Look at that. Look at that. Now it's not ready yet, but the spoon, because it's round, mm -hmm. it flips it without kind of damage. Pinching it. Sometimes oh, I think when yeah. you press it, so I always check the bottom, like with a, 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 maybe a spoon or fork. Yes. And when it's okay, then you know. No one likes to squeeze up the balls. Yeah. No, we don't. We don't do that stuff. <laughs> no, but it's true, right? <laughs> what you went and did with my washer. It just has a touch of adobo inside of it. Oh man, the boss lady is only buffing me up since I came on the show, eh? And God through right now, I'm looking for the godmother. I was told that she's the one to check when I'm up here on this side in south. Hey, hey! Morning, morning! Listen, I'm looking for Amelia. The godmother of Golf you. That is what I, I heard she goes by. Are you Amelia? I am. Okay, I'm gonna make you an offer you cannot refuse. I'm uh, gonna bring you a pack of cheap brand curry and you are going to make me some curry duck, dal and rice and roti because I'm very hungry right now. You see, it's good to eat things other than curry sometimes. For lunch today, I'm gonna be throwing down a risotto and some meatballs. Oh, I love that. Alright, well then we can do that. Could we just turn probably a salad inside here and a little bit I or something? I think you're asking Okay, miss. Me. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Let's go and do this. Alright, let's <laughs> Hey, T-Boy Chef Jason, the original Bob and Stop Trinidad and Tobago, live and direct! One, we outside! You don't know Chef Jason, just here you know, to come down south. I engulf the view right now. Beautiful weather and of course, you know, beautiful people around me. And nevertheless, we have Amelia Hello. does dinner with us. Hello. As you all know, Amelia pretty much is a massive food personality and food blogger in Canada throughout the Caribbean and here in Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome to the show. We're having fun already. I mean, I've seen lemons and lime, so I know it's going to be an awesome lime. As they say, we're lime right? That is exactly what it is. And we're under a tree. And that's what we outside is all about. Pretty much, I'm seeing a lot of things taking place, a lot of activity. I'm seeing yes. biscuits. What else is on the menu? Talk to us about what today's activities are all about. So today, we are going to be eating lamb meatballs mm -hmm. with an herbed yogurt sauce. We are going to be doing a little bit of a take on an Italian classic, risotto alla milanese. Say that again. Risotto alla milanese. Say it with me. Risotto alla milanese. I feel like I'm in a sort of kind of mafia show right now. What, 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 what you talking about? What you, what you talking about? You're doing good. You do. I was now about to ask you, Jason, can you speak any Italian? I cannot speak any Italian at all. I've never been to Italy. Have you been? The hood that I live in is a strong Italian hood. So, you know, we got to represent a little Italian food going on. Speaking Italian is really, really easy. All you need is this, this. So this is what you do when you want to hail a cab. This is what you do when you say, hey, the food is good. This is what you do when you say the food is bad. That's you know what this means that, in Trinidad? That's a Maggie. Yes. So pretty much we got some lessons there. And if you really unsure, Forget about it. Forget about but it. You see, we're going nuts. Anyone that comes to visit me, I always, always prepare cheesy cheddar biscuits and I bake them off fresh when you came from scratch. Pretty much when you're baking bread and biscuits, you always brush with butter at the oh. end for some love. Butter makes everything better, Jason. Put a bit in there. Just, just a little bit, eh? Just a okay. little bit. So pretty much it's like a nice little compound butter that you've made there. It's flavored at this point in time with yes. those spices of the garlic and the parsley in there. Even as you put that warm butter on it, the aroma of the cheese inside there pretty much really does scream out at you. And you get a great character of the garlic and parsley going on there. Comment below, let us know if you want Amelia to share her brilliant recipe for her cheddar biscuits. I hope it's cheddar. But I, you I, know what? I already have the recipe online. Oh, tell us where you can get it. So it's on my blog, ameliadoesdinner.com. It's under cheesy cheddar biscuits. So very, very simple recipe. Anyone can make it. Oh, beautiful. And with that garlic and parsley on top of it, it's just simply brilliant. Are you going to share a little piece with me here? Oh my gosh, guys. Look at the inside. Look Cheesy at that. and soft. Boom. Cheers. Wow. It's almost like literally when you have like those nice like red lobster mm -hmm. cheesy bread biscuits. Yeah. Listen, we're off to a great start right now. What are we going to do? The lamb meatballs first? We are going to start off with our lamb meatballs. Well, let's get started on it one time. I'm hungry now. Wow. Lamb time? Yes. 
Minced lamb. Yes. Amelia, let's do these meatballs. All right. Talk to me. I know you get my onion here. Yeah, I'm going to put you to work. Life is not a free ride, Jason. You have to work for your keep. So we are grating an onion. That's going to go straight into our mince. Well, if it's one thing I could do is, I mean, that's why I'm here today. I'm doing a great job. No one? The whole girl, if you stay quiet for that. Hey, come on. Meatballs, let's go. We have some fresh parsley that's gonna go straight in there. We have some minced garlic straight in there. I'm just gonna ignore that. And <laughs> I want you to just kind of get some of the liquid out. Come on, onion juice. I got your onions inside there. All right. This is how I like to make my meatballs. I always take breadcrumbs, I soak it in some milk, right. and that is to give it an amazing, soft texture. I hope you're doing a great job to being the mob boss's handler. I brought the Chief Brand Gyro seasoning. It has those nuances of those great spices inside it. I think would mellow very well with the uh, lamb meatballs. And this has, guys, you know, that great uh, cumin inside there. You're gonna get the paprika. You got that great sage, all those great flavors. So I add some Chief Brand pink Himalayan salts. You want gauge that black pepper for me? Am I gonna have to roll my hands up for this to get inside it? We're going straight in. All right, so we have our black pepper. You put your salt in there already. I don't know if it's a drive-by. Hey, you don't know, you know. You don't know these days, you know, with Amelia. Or... Who is this guy? Now, what I'm going to ask you to do, Jason, is I want you to sort of give that egg a little bit of a Whisk. mix. Yes. Just a little. Oh. Yeah. Amelia, as you mix this up, you are from Trinidad and Tobago. You grew up here. Originally, yes, I am. That's something that a lot of people don't know. And, you know, when I'm in Canada, I'm always representing Trinidadian foods. And that is so true because that's how I met up with Amelia. Like during COVID, I saw Amelia was in Canada and she did doubles, doubles videos. I did. And oh I my did. God, it was blown out of the water. Your doubles were spot on. Oh, thank you. We were going through that phase where everybody was doing doubles at home and fried chicken. And we've covered those things on Chief Brand. So take a little bit of the meatball and we mush it together. Now, this is what I like to do. A little bit of water kind of helps form it. And that is just going to help it form up and come no, to a nice smooth finish smooth. and it won't be too tacky on your hand. Smooth. 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 Yeah, smooth. Smooth. Yeah. You got, do you capish? Do you get that? There we go. <laughs> Ree's like, yes. All right, so the pot is already pretty hot, so we're going to go in with the meatballs. Oh boy. And you're hearing a little sizzle on there already. What I see you did is actually you strategically put the balls down in a in a direction. So you know like if you put this one down first. Yes, you start. You start and then you turn that one. Exactly. First. I wanna take a little part in that, you know. Uh, I right. wanna try that. So let me just see what's no going props. on there. Find a spot and right. so I use a spoon and that is how now it's not ready yet, but the spoon, because it's round, mm -hmm. it flips it without kind of damage. Pinching it. Yes. Right. You know I do the same thing with like salmon. So nice awesome, when yes. you press it, so I always check the bottom like with a, 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 maybe a spoon or fork. Yes. And when it's okay, then you know. Yes, for sure. Because you don't want to, no one likes to squeeze up the balls. Yeah. No, we don't, we don't do that stuff. <laughs> no, but it's true, right? <laughs> and then it's going to be ready. Look at Look that. Look at that. I think the doggies are liking it. <laughs> God, view is lit right now, you know. The neighborhood is alive. And as you can see, they're perfectly cooked at this point in time. Amelia, these are looking gorgeous. Amelia describes this food and it sounds so exotic and so cool. <sighs> I don't know if it's just the accent, you know. So talk to me about the accent. So I've been in Canada for quite some time. So I always like to think of it as like a mishimashi of the two things. But I always tell people, you're going to hear that Trini accent through it all. It's there. Listen. <laughs> I have to listen for it today, you know. That's not a person because that's now where I make a little mistake with, the, with, with one of the boys. I was like, what are you doing, boy? <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. All right. So you have mint down for that I element of do, freshness. I do, and the mint is in my yogurt sauce. This yogurt. is full cream, plain yogurt, blended with some parsley, fresh mint, garlic, lemon zest, mm -hmm. and lemon juice. And what I was thinking, I say, you no, know, we have this new orange essence that I think is gonna really permeate great with that flavor going on inside it because a lot of times we do use citrus with lamb. So I was thinking we could add some of that essence on top of it. It also adds a nice attraction. 
smoked paprika would be great for meatballs. So if you want to put a little bit on top. So this yeah. is our minced lamb balls with our gyro seasoning inside there. Mm -hmm. Can I dig it? Of course. This is the time I'm waiting for it. Dip it in like that. Mmm. Wow. It's awesome, isn't Listen, it? Listen, it looks really good. That mint yeah. is like See it how it goes on the inside. Look at how soft. You know, it's moist. It's, yes. it, it, it's not dry. And that's yeah. lamb. That nice content of that fat inside there is really good. Yeah. I'm feeling to run with this, but so far, this is so good. Shrimp time, risotto. Yes, risotto a la Milanese. Let's get started on marinating our shrimp. Some gorgeous so, ones here. Peeled, deveined. Basics, black pepper, salt. You told me about using the new adobo seasoning from Chief Brand Products, which we can't find. <laughs> That's right here, we got it. Take two. <laughs> so. This is pretty much a nice com complete seasoning. It's used a lot in Latin American cooking also and ethnic cuisine. So for any types of meat and so forth. I think Trini people are gonna love this one because you know you have you have those tones in there that are great. So we're taking almost like a classic Italian dish and we're kind of just jazzing it up a bit with this seasoning. I like to just grate some fresh zest in with my shrimp. So you zest in then. I'm zesting again. <laughs> Jason, look at what you went and did with my water. It just has a touch of adobo inside of it. Well, I guess it's going to be flavored water. Oh man, the boss lady is only buffing me up since I came on the show, eh? You see, if you keep this up, we don't know what your prognosis is gonna be. Oh boy. Stop. All right, so critical ingredient to a risotto a la Milanese is this spice right here, which is saffron. So what we want to do is we want to add just to the hot water to the hot water so we have our pan and it's set to medium heat we are going to add our onions do you know that what's inspiring this recipe has recorded history 18th century wow yes isn't that neat but that's the amazing thing especially when i go onto your blog guys on facebook amelia does dinner check her out on facebook and instagram she has all these great facts about food, the history behind it, and really speaks in depth about, you know, the, the, the heritage of what it is about, the use of the ingredients, and the also nifty tips and tricks. All right, so the next step is we want to add our rice. Now, this is arborio rice. Yes, arborio rice. It is a shorter stock rice, and it's a high starch rice. rice. So it's perfect for risotto. And you're gonna start seeing that the rice is turning a bit translucent. Yes. That step is when we know it is time to start adding our stock. Now I see that you have also here Parmigiano, yes. Reggiano, the, the true stuff. Yes. So that goes in right at the end to sort of add an extra oomph. And green peas. You know what they call this in, uh, I believe, in, in, in French? Petit pois. Yes, petit pois. Petit pois. Yes. It's a cultural show at this point in time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so you see how this color that we've gotten here uh, from the saffron being bloomed? We're going to add this straight in now. Ooh, oh, it actually just took up all of yes. that really nice vivid yellow color. It is a beautiful golden color. We're going to add our peas and we're going to add our shrimp. All right, so we're kind of cooking it down here now. So we're coming down to the end of this here now. Look at how this looks. Your food, creaminess. your food looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Usually I like to let it sit for about a minute or two and then pet it with cold butter. And then we have Parmesan. We have the Parmigiano. The Parmigiano. Parmigiano. It is key to turn it, stir it when the butter goes in there. It's sort of just Plinks thickening, it, yeah. adding that extra layer of silkiness to it. The last step to this luxurious dish is our cheese. This is from the block, yes. as real as it gets, not, as the, as it gets. not the powdered stuff. You can see those nice little shreds just breaking down inside and melting through. Are you hungry? I am so hungry right ah, now. Ah, well then, you know what? It's time to manja. Manja, manja, that means <laughs> to eat. I need to taste this. Listen, I couldn't really wait for this risotto, eh, Amelia. Everything else I tasted and I pecked on during the course of the show, but this is what my heart was set on. I, I'm enjoying myself today with you guys, I mean, Full hospitality here. I mean, the cheddar day biscuit, we had that nice uh, 
Lamy Bola we started with. You want to try that uh, beautiful risotto? Of course, I've been waiting to try this. Wow. So that is creamy. so amazing. Mm -hmm. The butter and the cheese is actually the secret behind it. Mm -hmm. People, you need to try out all her recipes. You go to Amelia Does Dinner on Facebook. Mm -hmm. My name is Amelia Does Dinner on all social media platforms. So we're talking YouTube, we're talking Instagram, we're talking Facebook, and that's the name of my website as well, ameliadoesdinner.com. And of course, Amelia does good food at this point in time. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks for being on We Outside. We, we, we made an awesome team, I think. I think most definitely. And that's of course what we do on We Outside. Our chief brand products have been pioneering this movement for so long. And we're going and touching so many different cultures and people throughout Trinidad and Tobago and throughout the Caribbean. And of course, you never know. We might just end up in your backyard. Because you know, at the end of the day, met up with Amelia. And of course, we outside today. Chef Jason out, Amelia out. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. My eye kind of cookie here, so I'm too sure. You know what cookie is? <laughs> <laughs> this is... <laughs> You try one more time, can I hand red boy? They will come to kill me down here. Uh, okay, well, all right. I, I do all the hard work for you at the end of the day. All right. So give me props here on the show. So